All right, I'm standing by the JX95. It's a case tractor. I wanted to show you a few things on it. It's a little windy today. Now my last video was, video was windy too. This is how you unlock the, the loader. Pull it out, pins out now. It can come off. You do the other side. There's a pin the same as this, and drop these legs down. And you have to have the bucket on the front. You tilt the bucket down, and then as you rotate the bucket back with these down, it lifts the whole loader arms right off the tractor. You can have it off in less than five minutes. The hardest part is undoing the hoses. This is how the, uh, the remotes work on this plow. There's two sets of hoses here. I got them color coded with electrical tape. Got the uh, John Deere colors over here. And because there's like a whole bunch of different ways you can hook it up. And I like it hooked up one way only. So this is what controls all that. So two hoses come off these cylinders right here, these bucket cylinders. And there's a button inside. There's two buttons and they control each of these. It's kind of a neat setup. There's a, I think that is a uh, pressure release valve so if you bump something it allows the oil to flow wherever it's got to flow. <clears throat> and it's a complicated setup but works great. There's two cylinders on the end plates. There's this one here that raises and lowers it. You can see it from in the tractor when I'm driving but you can't really see this one down in here. And that's the one that, this one's not locked right now. It's supposed to come out and lock this, this little plate right here. It's a pretty engineered, well-engineered device. Okay, I'm at the one at the other end now and it's locked properly. So, I'll show you a few more things on this tractor. The, it's a Quickie uh, Allo loader. It's called a Quickie 45. So that's the type of loader. The paint came with original silver paint here but it all peeled off. It was a defect in the primer or something but uh, I never got around to paint painting it so it's staying like that. Okay I'm in the cab now and here's this is the control the aloe control for the loader. So you pull up it raises the loader arms push forward it lowers it and then your buckets left and right well you just these two buttons here I don't know if you can see those. I'm trying that it's really hard in here to there so one of these buttons, this is the button for the end plates, and you just wrote left and right, and you get your up and down motion for the end plates, and this button here angles the plow. And it actually works great. It's been working for 13 years. I've had this. This is the 13th year, and uh, I've never really had any problems with it. Touch wood. If you've watched my snow plow videos, you hear a lot of clicking, and I have meant to show you guys for months now. That's down for the box scraper, and that's up. It's not running right now, so won't we'll go up. But that's that's the clicking here. There's a small click for down. I can all, I can also use this to raise and lower it, but it's way easier just these two two buttons. So that's what you're hearing when you're watching me in the cab, and that raises this box scraper back here, which gives me a lot more ability. I can back into a, a loading dock or a garage door or anything and pull snow out and push from the front. And this tractor's got so much power that it could actually, it can push more than what the plow can handle in front. So having this box scraper increases how much I can move and I can move it a long distance. So you can see it can pull a lot of snow. Well, you can see a lot of lines painted on the ground. Stakes, just like four different colored lines here. Red, orange, yellow, blue. They marked out every uh, flags everywhere. You can see in the snowbank up here. It's a bad sign for a snow guy like me. So I had a meeting with the property manager a couple of days ago, Monday morning, I think, and they gave me a kind of a photograph or a map of this site and the next location the uh, waterworks guys are going to be digging and it's right here where they've decided they're going to use this as a staging area to keep their material and all the flags are marking what's in the ground so you got gas lines electric lines water lines all kinds of things and that's i think uh my last video i believe there was a little clip of me pushing snow in here this is where i stockpile my snow so i've lost that and uh 
it was funny monday i was driving around and the guys putting gas markers and painting everywhere on the snow because it was snowing like crazy and i was i was plowing them faster than he could put them out <laughs> so i thought it was going to be a trouble but i was erasing everything he was putting out on not everything but many many spots he was marking and i said well, like what am i supposed to do i have to plow the snow so anyway it was it was almost like a comedy show I thought I was going to be in trouble for sure. They're calling for, you know, 13, 14, 15 inches on the weekend, Friday night, Saturday. And it's supposed to rain, like a half an inch or an inch of rain on Friday. So, and then change to snow. It's going to be a rough weekend coming up. It's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. 9th or 10th of January. Oh boy. It's starting to look like it's going to be a really hard winter, but keep thinking you know maybe it won't snow for 10 days or so after this so i brought uh came over here to show you what i've been doing today i should have had the camera out for this but the sun just came out the clouds kind of dissipated and blue sunny sky makes me feel pretty good so i thought i'd get the camera and do a video i plowed all the snow along both sides here i'm trying to make room for the weekend i don't really want to put the snow blower on this tractor i could easily do that for this amount of snow but it's it's a bit of a chore to put on, and then once it's on, I can't use that box scraper. I don't have it on there anymore. So the snowblower is kind of more in the way when I don't need it. But uh, now that I got the snowbanks all pushed back, it's taken me about four to six hours to do this between yesterday and today. And um, it's it's looking really good there now. So I think I'm going to skip the option of taking that snowblower and putting it on here. But I might put it on later on end of January or something because it's looking that's the kind of winter we're having I can really move snow with a 100 horsepower snowblower yeah, there's some videos from last year I think I think I put it on last year I'm pretty sure I did yeah um, it, it can blow snow like 200 feet with the wind there so yeah So there, I just went handheld for a few seconds there, and uh, that was packed snow on that road that was not coming off any other way. So this this tractor has down pressure, which you know wears out the cutting edge pretty quickly, but uh, reduces my salt budget here by half. I think I've mentioned that probably by half or more. So I'm just going to take the truck now. I took the plow off my truck, and I'm going to go up and down that road and lay down some salt because they're calling for freezing rain tonight. And that was what I was focusing on, widening out the roads and uh, scraping any packs snow off so that the freezing rain won't have anything to stick to. Oh, here's another little section. I spent some time pushing these snow banks back. This is always a problem. I think I, there's a picture of my truck in a video from last summer. I was parked last winter, not summer. I was parked up there with my old truck. And the banks were as high as the roof of the truck, which is about six feet 
Over six feet. Six to six and a half feet. Yeah. That was a bad winter. That was 2014? No. Anyway, it's it's there. Uh, they're nowhere near that big yet this year, but we're still in the uh, first, you know, 10 days of January, so we got a long way to go. Once February comes, I don't even bother pushing snow back like this anymore. Uh, I'll either use a snowblower or I'll just let it build right out to the curb and, uh, you know, hopefully it with the, with the salt on the roads and shooting the snow bank, the snow up on top of the snow bank, the sun comes out and melts it all down usually. So, okay, uh, I think I'll have some video on the weekend of plowing snow because Saturday looks like one heck of a snowstorm coming at us. Thanks for watching.